Hello everyone, welcome back to my show. So today we are going to be making pizza sauce. So it is going to be the sauce which we apply before putting the cheese and the vegetables and all. So for this we need lots of tomatoes. So here you can see how I have chopped the tomatoes in one X shape. Just a uh, quarter way through the tomato. I'll show you how to do it. So I've taken 10 tomatoes here and I have chopped them all like this. So now we'll have to remove the skin before blending them all. So just chop it like this. So now here I have boiled some water so that we can put the tomatoes and now this boiled water, in this boiled water we are going to put one by one tomatoes so that the skin comes off so now we will be putting all the tomatoes and we will be boiling for few minutes until the skin comes out and we will after that we will peel it so now we will boil them all so now we have boiled some and and Half of the tomatoes you must keep for um, half of the tomatoes you must keep because we need that for later. Okay, so now we have let the tomatoes boil for about one minute. Now, very quickly we have to put them in cold water so that the skin comes out easily. So now very quickly you must put into cold water or room temperature water very quickly. And you can close the flame. So now the skin would have come out. Okay, so now 10 tomatoes we have kept for, uh, uh, for making puree. And uh, 10 tomatoes we are going to finely chop. So now we have put it in cold water and now the skin has become loose. So we will just remove the skin like this very quickly. And now all these tomatoes we will put in a blender and we also have to chop off this top, just a thin chop off and now we are ready to put the tomatoes in the hand blender. If you already have ready made tomato puree you can use that also but it won't taste as good as this and we are making out of 10 tomatoes. Because we are going to have a pizza party very soon and I will be giving the link for that also later and I will be uploading the video. Now we will blend it all. Okay so now here all the tomatoes are done, all 10. Now we will chop it into 4, four parts and here is the blender. We have Philips blender here. So just all chop it off fast first and put it all in the blender. Put all of it in the blender, how much ever can fit. And now we will blend it all and it should be like a tomato puree. And also afterwards we will be making the pizza and the video I will send it in the description when I make it. So here I have stuffed the blender fully and now we will use the chopper to chop. Now we will blend it all. So it will become fully puree. So now we will make all the tomatoes into a puree. Ok so now we have made all the puree here. All the tomato puree is ready. And now we will take 5 tomatoes. Uh, we have to use half of the tomatoes we are using. So we are using 5 tomatoes, we have chopped it into 4 pieces. And now we will put it in the hand chopper. And uh, don't chop it finely, just chop it like coarse. Along with the... Okay, so now we have chopped some tomato. Uh, like it is coarse and here is a tomato puree out of 10 tomatoes. This is out of 5 tomatoes. Here 5 onions we have finely chopped. 
here is uh, chili flakes salt basil leaves some olive oil you can use any oil this is oregano we need some butter also and some sugar so now here we have got one big pan and I put it on high flame and now we will put some oil okay so now the oil has got hot and we will also be needing some garlic so now the oil has become hot now we will put the onion and give it a quick stir and we will also put the garlic and put it all in and give that also a quick stir now we will let the onions and the garlic become a bit brown and then we will add the rest of the things ok so here we can see that the onion has become translucent so we have cooked it for about 10 minutes it has to be translucent and we cooked it on low flame so now here is the coarse chopped tomato and now we will have to make it on high flame and add it in so add it all in and give it a quick stir let it mix along with the onions and now we will take all this tomato puree and add it in add all of it and now we will be adding all the oregano chili flakes and everything and letting it simmer for about 5 minutes so just give it a good stir and now here is the salt and chili flakes and all which we will be putting after stirring it well ok so now we stir it for a few seconds and now we will be adding in the oregano salt basil pizza seasoning which is uh, oregano and some sugar and salt we will be adding the butter last so now let's start with chili flakes and we will be putting all these chili flakes inside not all but some so now we will be putting the chili flakes inside now after that we will be taking the oregano which is also known as pizza seasoning taking some of that and putting and now we will give it a good stir and let everything mix inside and let it get the Italian flavor and uh, do this all on high flame put a good amount of this seasoning and give it a good stir and now since there was already salt in the oregano we will be putting very little salt just one pinch and we will be putting all the basil it just gives its own type of taste and we will give it a quick stir now we will be putting the sugar also and uh, we will just put one spoon of it just for a little bit sweetness and give it a quick stir now we will let it simmer for 5 minutes and after that we will put the butter and then it will be ready so just cover it and let it simmer for 5 minutes ok so now we will let it simmer for about 5 minutes now just to get the correct consistency 
we'll mash it all up. You can mash it any how you want. I'm mashing it with this. So we'll mash it and then we'll add this chili tomato sauce and some butter. You, uh, if you don't have chili tomato sauce, then you can add a little bit chili powder also. Yeah. So now uh, we have mashed it a bit. You can mash it to whatever consistency you want, even after cooling it. So now we'll add the butter and the chili tomato sauce. So add all the tomato sauce and put it all in and add the butter so the butter will also give a nice consistency and even the sauce will give its own unique taste so now let the butter fully melt in and now the sauce is just going to be ready in few minutes okay so now we have got the sauce at the right consistency and here all the butter has melted and now the sauce is ready. I can already get all the great smells of pizza. Okay and now we will switch out the flame and now everyone the sauce is ready. You can let it cool down and then you can apply it on your pizza. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video where I'll be making pizza out of this early sauce. Okay, bye everyone and I'll see you in my next video.